Today I'm going to show you how you can use models run locally on your computer inside Visual Studio Code and you can use them for coding or whatever other task you want. The setup is pretty simple, it will take us about 5 minutes. The best part about this process that I'm going to show to you today is that you can completely skip API costs and as computer becomes cheaper and cheaper and new models are more and more capable, you could literally run them on your computer with unlimited usage if you have a powerful enough system. So the first thing that we have to do is install Olama. This is an interface that allows you to use locally models with minimal setup. So after you install on Llama, you'd go to the models tab and browse all of the available, usually open source models, which you can select and run locally. So after you install a Llama, you want to open up the application or just use the terminal. And after you browse all of the models, I would highly suggest that you select tool models and you can find a big variety. One of my favorite and most capable ones are Quen3. You just have to select which model you want. The great thing about this here is that there are various versions from very small models to bigger models. So first, you gotta understand what GPU you have and how much video RAM it has. So if you've got a GPU with, let's say, 6 gigabytes of VRAM, you could probably run the Quen 3 4 billion model. Again, these models right now are not the most capable, but by having a model locally run on your computer, especially for simple queries, it's super powerful because you spend nothing. So let's say that we want to install Quen 3 4 billion parameter model. It has already nearly 10 million downloads. You click on it and you run this command on your terminal. So that's how you install whatever model you want on your computer. It usually has a couple of gigabytes and you're pretty much ready to go. You have the model running on your computer. You have already installed and run Olama locally. And then you want to open up Visual Studio Code. After you open it up, you want to open up the GitHub Copilot. That's the chat interface we're going to be using. And this is very, very powerful because GitHub Copilot as a chat interface is backed by Microsoft and we have loads of improvements in the future. And you want to go to this section where is the models tab. And usually you will have one of these and you want to click manage models. This menu will open up here on the search bar and you want to select the llama. After you select the llama, you can find all of the available models that you have downloaded on your system. In my case, I don't have any big model because I do it for demonstration purposes. I've just got Quen 3 with only 0.6 billion parameters. You select the models you want and then you change to the model in the chat interface. Now, if you don't use very capable models, I would highly suggest that you go with the edit option here. If you go with the agent, you need a capable model that is able to do a gentle use. If you don't have such kind of model, just use the edit and task features. They require a little bit more manual labor and they're a little bit less capable because they are not able to use the tool usage of chat interface of GitHub Copilot chat but still they're very, very powerful. So I've got a very simple web page here and I'm going to ask the model to do something very simple. Again, I'm running a super, super small model and that's very important to understand. So I'm going to go ahead and say to the model, implement the features tab on the website. Maybe the model is going to be able to do this. I don't expect it to, but I just want to show you that the model is connecting and it's able to do the work. Here you want to click apply editor and it's going to apply the difference on the specific place in the tab. We hit the refresh button here to preview the changes and here we can see a features like section that was added by the model. Again, I'm using a super small model just for demonstration purposes, but the stronger the GPU you've got, the stronger the system you got, the more bigger and more capable models you can use. And I firmly expect very, very soon coding models created just for coding to start running on very small systems with about 10 gigabytes of video RAM, which is a GPU that costs about $200. So you can see that very, very soon we are going to have 
models run locally on your computer. You can code with them all day long and they're just going to use a little bit of your GPU every time you query them. So that's how you can locally run these kind of models. If you've got a more capable system, you can scale up and get even better models. Before you leave, I just want to let you know that I have created a free school community. It's on the first link down below in the description. I look to bring and create a huge AI community freely available to everyone. And I would love for you to be part of this. I'm still populating it with the old courses and the old lessons, as well as all of the new lessons and things that will be happening. And we have an A10 coding, coding CLIs, video image generation. We are going to have so many things in here, as well as you can come here and request specific tutorials, see AI news, or just meet other people or even find job opportunities or post your own job opportunities if you want to collaborate with anybody else. So that was the video. Hopefully you found it interesting and helpful and I will see you on the next video. Bye.